if we produce something that is easy for people to use and somehow because of my background in agriculture and food science it was easy for me we now process the beans floor and now a lot of people have problems with beans floor and sometimes when I go to market mine, they say, mm, this one, I bought this type the other day, it wasn't good. And I said, well, the processing technique might be different from mine. And that was just the place of education. That was the place of specialization because it was my field. So I was able to add extra value and I charged extra money. And you see, the value we added to those things brought a better earning for us because we understood the market. So we saw that there was a need for some people and we came in to satisfy the need. So it was really easy for us to get returns early because people were waiting for it. Always remember that I said my markets are the pocket rich and the time poor. The value chain for those of you that are interested you know in doing one thing or the other in agriculture it's not something you can do all alone even when I've said I process I do this there are so many other things that we do for instance in the fresh juice business if you want to go into it you need fruits everybody cannot be a farmer even when you're a farmer you may not produce enough to meet your market. And you see, I want to welcome as many people that want to go into the business because it's a large market, a lot of people. You may not sell 600, you may sell 100 Naira, depending on the market you're targeting. And everybody makes his money. That's one. Then you see, secondly, you may not even be producing. It may just be that, okay, I have this networks, I have this connection to these places and this person is producing and you can strike deal. So the value chain is a long one, and at each point of the value chain, look at which one will be more pro most productive, most, you know, um, income giving to you. I'm, I'm very energetic when it comes to my job. Because anytime you call me, I'm there. If I have an event, if there's a birthday party, if there's a wedding, I'm there. I don't just send my people, I'm there myself. People will say, why don't you send people? It's not, it's not because I want to monitor them. After I've collected the money. They're not the ones that will collect the money. But I just want to, you know, I, I love to see the feel on their faces that they're enjoying what they're taking. So you must enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy, please don't go into it. One of the things we're talking about is that um, agriculture, as nice as it is, the truth is you can't really start small. Wow. I may be wrong, it's just my opinion. For you to make um, significant margins, hmm. at least everybody has tried and we've seen that the, the, you can make a 10%, 12% return, but if, if that's If it, you start small. Yes, if, if it's a very small... Okay. Subsistence uh, Exactly. Kind of. But that's the only way to start. Yes. Yes. The profit margin is quite low, yeah. but it's good to start small for learning sake. Then after that, you need to expand. You need to because if you up. stay on that small level, yes. you will not really be successful. Yeah, but nobody ever has ever said to you that start small and stay small. It's never the agenda. Starting small is getting started instead of waiting to find the money to start big and never starting at all. Do you understand? Now, let me now tell you the power of the knowledge that you have about the challenge of being small. Is once you know that, okay, I've started, my profit margin is only what, 10, 12 percent. But if I produce higher volume, I can increase my margin to about what in agriculture? 15, 15 20. To about 15, 20 percent. What does that tell you? It allows you to plan for the longer term. Because then you know that every 10, 12 percent return that you make, that you add to your, your position, increases your profitability and your growth. So it will be an expensive mistake. It's the reason why we talked about small beginnings. It's not just for being small, it also allows you to prove your theory. Because every business idea you have is a theory. 
In reality, you always discover many assumptions that you've made that are wrong. And if your investment is small, you get to correct the assumptions at, with very minimal loss. But if you've already invested large sums of money, you'll lose a lot of money. You'll be discouraged, your investors will be discouraged.